All right, Bill, this is um, a quick flyover at 100x of your compost. That's a test state amoeba. Not a nematode. And just at this magnification, you can pretty much see fungi. Um, not very clearly, so you can find them and then get a closer look. At 400x. This is the one month old compost, and this is generally what it looks like. This is the other compost. It's a 10 to 1 dilution, and the previous sort of flyover was also 10 to 1. This is looking pretty much the same, 100x, um, but I did find this large bacterial feeder. This is a mite at 100x, um, and now it's at 400x in the one-month-old vermicompost from Lakeshore Vermicomposting. This is a flagellate, and I'm videoing it because you can see it's two flagella. One of them, it's kind of moving around with, and one is just trailing. All right, this is a really good find. This was worth scouring through this worm compost, for sure. I found a nematode, and it looks, it looks like a fungal feeder, but what's really cool is there's a fungal strand that looks kind of like it's attached to it. So it could just be on top, nearby, but um, right in the middle of its body there and towards the tail um, are these structures of the fungus that are nematode capturing like bulbs. Some fungi have lassos that catch nematodes and that's kind of showy and cool but some just have these sticky bulbs but one way to test that that's what's really going on here I'm gonna just like tap the slide with a pin, a straight pin and um, just agitate it a little bit. Oh, looks like that nematode and that fungus are really stuck together. They're not just in the same place. Well, now it's stuck to something else. Uh oh. Oh no. No worries, I'll just keep pounding on it. Oh, that did it. The nematode is still stuck. Oh, and we get a better view of its mouth. Let's see. Anyway, nematode killing fungus. Guts are all granular with bacteria, so it makes it hard for me at least to ID. But it's got um, those sort of rings around it. Looks a little like Crickanema. Or... Anyway, very cool. Nice, Bill.